I am Per Eriksson. Uh, so here we are in Sweden and we are in the town of Västerås. And we are here to meet with the chef Stefan Taylor here at his restaurant, Essence. Stefan has developed a new concept uh, that he calls counter dining. The idea is to serve uh, a fixed menu, uh, seven or more courses at the counter where you have a community dining. If you were to explain for somebody that never ever tasted your food uh, about your style of cooking, what would you say? I would say that it's, it's our, our food. We cook what we like to cook and how we like to cook it, but we take a lot of influence from, from classical flavor combinations. Uh, and then we maybe add modern techniques uh, and a little bit of fun twists on dishes. Uh, but we never did a classic dish. We always do our own take on classical or modern dishes. How did you get interested in food uh, in the very first place? A little bit by chance. Uh, I started to work in the kitchen and after that I started to really enjoy it. Uh, I, went, I wanted to work in uh, as good restaurants as I could, uh, in yeah. as many different places as, as I could. But what in food was so interesting for you? I like the way that you can create something from almost nothing. You can take raw materials uh, and you can build it into, into something really, really special. Uh, I've been quite lucky, uh, I've worked with some, some really good chefs, uh, picked up a couple of tricks. So uh, in uh, which restaurants did you work in then? Uh, I started my career in Scotland, where I worked in the rhubarb at Prestonfield House. Uh, and then I moved to, to Guernsey and the Channel Islands before moving to, briefly to Switzerland. Uh, and then I came to Sweden and started my own. So starting your own restaurant, uh, why did you do that? I always wanted to do something by myself without restriction and without someone else telling me what I can and can't cook. Uh, and I think the only real way to, to do that is to open your own place. And coming up with a, your own concept, how did you do that? Uh, I like this idea of serving people directly. It's a little bit influenced from the kind of omnikase style Japanese, uh, but obviously not Japanese food here. Uh, but I did, when I started my first restaurant, I did it by myself. Uh, so it was a restaurant where I could do everything by myself, serve, uh, cook. The concept of counter dining, how do you, did you came up with that? I like the idea that we are doing everything. If somebody asks us a question uh, about what we have cooked or how we have cooked it, everyone that works here knows the answer. You don't have to go and ask someone else or find out the information. Mm -hmm. you know, we did it. And creating the menu, how many dishes is the menu? Oh, it depends on the day. We said that we have seven servings. Now, when we say seven servings, it means that we give you something seven times. That can be one thing, it can be uh, two or three things. Uh, so it's seven servings, but it can be anywhere from 10 to 15 courses. And we try to mix. We, have, we don't have really vegetarian dishes, but we have dishes that are focused on vegetables and they have meat as the kind of secondary element. Uh, and then we have dishes, fish dishes. Uh, we have of course meat dishes and desserts, but we think of them more like savory dishes and sweet dishes. So do you have any uh, signature dishes that you keep on repeating that are uh, popular among your audience? Yeah, we have our take on the classical French steak tartare. Uh, we always have that in the menu. That's our only signature dish that, that we have the whole time. product or produce to be able to create the dishes that you are talking about. Where do you find them? Uh, that's something we're doing a lot more of recently actually. Uh, this morning I was at the farmer's market. Uh, I picked up a lot of vegetables, uh, different color uh, courgette and uh, some different peas and a lot of things uh, from a farm. It's about 20 minutes from here. Uh, so today our menu is based on the things that I got at the market. Now it's, it's not always been like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Often we work with the suppliers and we use things from a little further away 
uh, but we start to try to work a little bit more local. A lot of chefs in the world, uh, they are focusing on uh, nose-to-tail eating or uh, farm-to-fork uh, eating, uh, uh, focusing very much on sustainability. What's your take on that? I think that we have a very, very sustainable restaurant for two reasons. One, we do think a lot about if we use a, a product, we use every part of it, we don't throw away anything. Uh, but the thing that makes this restaurant, for me, the most sustainable is that we serve only one menu. There's no a la carte, you don't choose anything. You come and you get what we sell, that's it. You can't, you can't have an allergy, you can't be a vegetarian. Our menu is our menu and that's what we sell. At the end of the night, when we look in the trash bin, there's nothing in there, it's empty. You know, we, we only need to take out the trash before the guests get here. After that, there's nothing there, so it's very sustainable. When you look on your dishes, uh, I think they are very aesthetic, they look beautiful. Uh, do you pay extra attention to that or is it just happening? I think everything is important in the dish. It should be look good, it should smell good, it should taste good, it should have texture, everything. Uh, even the way in which we serve it and the way in which we present it. So yeah, I believe that it's very important that the things look good. The place looks astonishing, I think. It looks really fantastic. Uh, who's the designer behind this fantastic place? This I did completely by my own the design. I, I picked every piece of furniture, I picked every piece of wood, every floor, every tile, every... So I, I, I was... That, that was a lot of fun. I think it was one of the most fun parts about building the restaurant. If you look ahead a little bit, a year ahead, where do you want to be? So we, I mean, we have double the space here, uh, but we have the same amount of seats that we had in the last restaurant. So we had uh, 90 square meters before, now we have 200. Uh, we're never going to take more guests, we're never going to fill the restaurant up. Uh, but we, we would like to have a little bit, how do you say, more focus on changing the menu more often. Uh, we have two counters here, so we have the one in the front and we have the one in the back. Uh, and this one on the day, I would like to make it into a test kitchen. If you were to give an advice uh, to a young person that wants to become a chef like yourself, yeah. what would you say? I would say that you have to find the best restaurant that you can work in and you should go there and you should work and you don't think about money and you don't think about time, you just think about learning. Mm -hmm.